rainy day, but it should be a good day. Yo, 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 yo. The engine is back together. There is a new starter underneath the intake manifold. And now we're gonna go to the shop and get some material for the exhaust system. So we bought some stainless steel pipes. These ones are for the exhaust. This one is for uh, intake. And this little one is for a cooling system. So, and also we have some more stuff for the exhaust. So the plan for today is to make an exhaust system from the beginning up to the end of the car. So first thing we want me to do uh, is connect the O2 sensors with the manifold here. So we have the O2 sensors inside the manifolds already and the next step is going to be welding the V-bands here and then doing the rest of the exhausts. So today we want to do the exhaust up to the end. So I was thinking about the tip of the exhaust, how I'd like to have it. And uh, so we have two kind of types which uh, we're thinking about. The first one is this one. but. I think for the big power, you need to have something bigger. So we might actually go for this one, you know, V8 and that. So that should do the job. Maybe a bit longer, hot boy style, like this. <laughs> are in place and now we're gonna be working on uh, going down with the exhaust here uh, as you can see it's very tight
So we just got packaged from M Tuning with um, exhaust muffler, uh, with some silicones for cooling system and also for, for intake. HKS, definitely not replica, very expensive Japanese, not Chinese uh, air filter. Very expensive. Ten dollars. Derek is working on the other side because uh, the left side here is already done and engine should be here in a moment and we're gonna try to start the engine once again and also today is a bit warmer so I can show you around here if you like to see the cars because there's some interesting cars around here starting with my tripod at the moment which is a Starion with 3UZ inside so this is 3UZ I guess it's 4.3 liters this is not uh, plastic. This is factory wide body Starion. Oh, Andrew here. Going to R32 GTR. This is January GTR body. This is Derek's car, but as you can see, it requires a lot of work. My guy Bozo here. Bozo's not coming with uh, empty hands again. Opa. Opa. Hi. Hey. Skoda Roomster. Very cool. Very rare, old Eclipse, I guess. Adam's R33 sedan. So Adam is the guy we bought uh, the white Miata from, the one that Marek crashed yesterday. So he sold us the Miata and he bought this. It should look very, very sick when it's drifting. Okay, next we have a Subaru Impreza E36. That's an Eclipse. The newer one. Actually, I don't know anything about this car. I just know that it's been standing here for a while. Some other cars at the back, which I'm gonna show you later. Uh, Skoda's my favorite. Hello? <laughs> So we have an exhaust under the car and the plan now is to try to start it again. New starter in and maybe, maybe it's gonna start, probably not. Fire extinguisher test. Test, 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 test. Okay. Good. Good. <laughs> Bozo, do the honor. Okay. Yeah. Fuel pump in. <laughs> oh. So we should be getting two point eight bar. Okay. Nie działa. No spada, patrz. Spada? No. No, no, no. Dawaj, 285. Yeah. By unscrewing this nut, we are making the pressure lower. No, w sam raz. The fuel pressure set. And now. <coughs> it's big time. So now we'll try to build the oil pressure so without ignition and this meter is connected to the sandwich under the oil filter. <coughs> Nothing. <coughs> New battery. Should be something. Five, six or something. Okay, but now the fuel pump and ECU is not connected, yeah? No. Okay, so it's just just, uh, started. just started to build the oil pressure, which is which is not here at the moment. And it's very important. It's quite important, yeah. 
So we unscrewing the filter just to see if there's any sign of oil there. It's dry. So we've tried this several times and we are not getting any oil, not even a drip. It might be because the the RPMs are too low to pump the oil. So we might put the oil filter back and try with a few with the ECU so the engine can really have a, like a proper run uh, to pump the oil. Wait, 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 wait. So the engine had a little run, but there's still no oil. We just been uh, watching the Cars in New Zealand uh, channel, which is pretty helpful for one UT engine. Uh, it seems like the guy knows everything about these engines. So what he said is that the oil pump is dry, so he needs to manually kind of push the oil inside the the oil pump. No. Yes, yes. Yes, baby. Yes, yeah, baby. Wiesz co, pytanie też, czy on ten oil, co myśmy mu wciśli, czy już ma po prostu... No, so we're gonna top up the oil now, because we got rid of some. Uh, the oil filter is back in place. Cut, 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 cut. Okay, okay, let's go. Let's go, dobra, składamy to dzisiaj, wyjeżdżamy, normalnie. Yeah, that's it for today, and I'll see you next time. Good night. Wait. Good night. Right. <laughs>